What time is it? It's science time! All right, this is one of my favorite activities because it takes something like hydrogen peroxide and creates this amazing foam. How does it do it? Well, let's talk science. Hydrogen peroxide is also known as H2O2. That means there are two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms for each molecule. If we pour this out into a cup, the hydrogen peroxide will eventually decompose. It'll turn into water and release one of those oxygen atoms naturally over time. These containers are brown to allow the hydrogen peroxide to last longer. It prevents decomposition. But if we want to make this erupt and turn into elephant toothpaste, we need a catalyst. So what are we going to use? Yeast. It's called a catalyst because it's going to cause it to happen faster. We don't have time to sit here and watch this turn into water and oxygen all day. So we need to use this to make it happen. So let's pour this into our container. And then let's get our yeast set up so that we can pour it in here and have elephant toothpaste. First thing, take, that was water. First thing, take two <laughs> tablespoons of warm water. And then take your yeast pack and pour it in. I'm gonna use the back of my thing here to mix it up. Mix it up. And we're gonna let it sit just for a second. Kinda chunky. Now before we take this and pour it into this, we're gonna take just a little bit of dish soap Add it to our bottle. Shake it up. And now we pour our catalyst into this. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Look at that. It's producing all that foam. And you might be saying, where's the foam coming from? Well, that's the actual oxygen being released from the hydrogen peroxide. So we have all this foam being produced. Isn't that amazing? That is so cool. And I can feel it's a little warm. That's because this is an exothermic reaction. It actually produces heat energy as well during this reaction. I wonder what would happen if we changed the variable, like going to 6% hydrogen peroxide versus 3% hydrogen peroxide. I think we should try it. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you wanna see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY Science Time.